Hi, everybody. It's Agnes. Welcome to another group interview today. We are going to be discussing and talking about Law of Attraction, Neville, self-love, etc., etc. And... Ah, I'm going to pick Lauren to start. Lauren, Hello. You want to start <laughs> off? <laughs> sure, why not? Okay. Um, I should warn you that my, my friend Shane is in the room. He's my my big white dog. I don't know oh. if you can see him. There he oh. is hiding. Beautiful. He's the, he's the super barky one, so he gets to come <laughs> on the internet with me. If he gets okay. started, then everybody barks. Uh, fair <laughs> enough. What we might do is everyone that's not talking, can you mute? And then if you want to talk, just unmute because there's a bit of an echo. Yeah, that's better. Go ahead, Lauren. So. That's better. What, what should we, what's the question? Or well, I know it's a it's a, yeah. Huh. If, do you want to share anything about where you're at in terms of, your I think what really seems to work a lot is people hearing other people's daily routines what do you do what do you find gives you the best lift the best good feeling the best what what things do you really do consistently that's sure. a starting point okay yeah um well I mean I've tried a lot of different things over the time and I think that the key is to remember that you know, really what you say, self-love is the basis of all of it. It's anything that we're trying to manifest or work on, it's, it's going to come from the wrong energy if the self-love isn't there, if, if the reason that we're doing it is not, you know, purely for ourselves. So some of the things that I do, if I just go through my day, you know, um, when I wake up in the morning, and I'm, I'm kind of like you, I like to wake up. Um, when I wake up, not to an alarm. I don't always have that luxury right now, but yeah. I'm working towards getting that that way. Yeah. Um, but when I when I'm still kind of in that middle state between sleep and being totally awake, um, I will do some of my visualizations and gratitude first thing before I even open my eyes. Yeah. Um, when I can feel that. I'm just awake enough. I'll usually do the gratitude first. I'll think of five things that I'm grateful for. And I'll just say, I'm, I'm thankful for this, or I appreciate that, or, you know, whatever it is, something as simple as like, I'm so happy I have my dogs. I'm happy I have my warm house. Um, I'm happy that I have work that I can do, all of that good stuff. Yeah. Um, then I'll move into one of my vis visualizations, just whatever it is that I'm working on um, at that time. And um, I'll be back for a few minutes. And, um, and then usually when, I'm getting, usually when I'm getting ready first thing in the morning, I will have, um, I'll have uh, like Abraham or you or somebody, I'm trying to learn at the same time that I'm getting ready first thing in the morning. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll listen to podcasts. I will listen to other um, meditations or things like that. Yeah. Um, can you, Lauren, can you mention any of the ones that you're using that you really like? Like, can you mention any names? Because then I can put the links down below. Sure. Um, I have listened to everything I can get my hands on for Neville. Yep. Um, Abraham Hicks, I will just kind of skip around on topics, you know, the, the person that uploads those usually will, um, you know, put like a little, the title in the tagline and kind of an, an explanation. Yeah. I'll pick, I'll pick what I think is, is good from those. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Bob Proctor. Yeah. Um, uh, Wayne Dyer. Um, who else? I mean, such a there's such a long list of really talented wow. people who have a lot of good stuff to say yeah. um, about all of this. So I try to make sure that there's 
a lot of learning incorporated into my day and I just get that done first thing in the morning when I'm getting ready because otherwise I might not have a chance. Yep. Um, you know, if I catch myself thinking of something um, that's not going to serve me well, one of the self-loving things that I do there is I will just change the channel. You know, what we focus on expands. And so it, someone kind of explained it to me like, you know, that's, it, it's kind of what Neville calls like the, the um, mental diet. If I'm feeding myself garbage, it's just so easy to keep going down that road. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, if I, if I catch myself thinking something that's, that's not going to serve me, I will immediately, you know, change the channel and just think about something else because it's like, and I'll stop and ask myself, what's the most self-loving thing to do here? What's the most self-loving thought to have? Okay, yeah. if, if I continue thinking about X, that is not a self-loving thought. So I'm going to change the channel and start thinking about why instead. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, other things that I do are just kind of like things to take care of my physical body. Um, I've actually, this is the first day I've felt like a human since Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> I was very, very sick. Um, you know, in my former life, I would have just kept working and tried yep. to power through it. And, you know, it's all the little things too. Am I getting enough sleep? Um, am I spending the time doing the things that I like to do? Whether that's just like, okay, I feel like taking a bath or I just want to watch a show or I want to eat some good food. You know, am I drinking enough water every day? I, someone actually had to teach me how to breathe once. Um, and I know that sounds really silly, but I think for people that have that high anxiety and you're, you're mm. used to being super active and your brain's always running on overdrive, like I remember months and months and years where I just couldn't even sleep. Mm. Um, I've, someone taught me how to do like the fourfold breath. I mean, I think it's stuff as simple as that. Um, you know, and, and being easy on yourself, being kind on yourself, because I think for highly driven individuals, it's so easy to, um, you know, get into that cycle of like, oh no, I messed up. And then you just go down that track of being really hard on yourself, like learn how to forgive yourself too. Um, yeah. Those would be my biggest tips mm. and kind of the things that I pay attention to. Um, in my daily routine. Mm. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. And are you working on something specific, like in terms of creating something? I mean, you don't have to say what it is if you're still hatching it and you want to keep it private, but are you, are you got manifesting things on, on the boil? Yes. Um, <laughs> still, still working on the specific person. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think lots of good things are happening there, especially internally. Yeah. And then um, I would say that I'm, I'm doing a lot of things with work too, um, yeah. meaningful work. Yeah. Um, I think I've always been able to kind of create work and I can keep myself busy. But um, I think um, probably the last time that you and I talked on yes, um, I think I had just become a realtor or I was pretty new in that world. Yeah. Um, I am still doing that, but there was just something in me, my heartstrings were pulling on me to, um, you know, do something. Uh, I, I want to change the world. <laughs> um, so I, I have taken steps to um, become a coach and a consultant, and I am really excited about that. So, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, yes lots great. of good things happening. Those yeah. are probably the two biggest things that I'm working on right yeah. now. Beautiful. It's so good when you stop looking at work as just I've got to have a job or do something to make money and you look at it more as a meaningful expression of you and then try to bring those two parts of you together. What you do off time to what you do when you're logged on working, they can yeah. emerge and come together. I think that's one of life's wonderful moments when that does happen and you're no longer 
doing something that's so not you anymore because a lot of people are and you know I mean I relate to that I did that a lot in my life doing things that just I thought what am I doing here with these people what am I doing here you know but that's a transition and it's a part of you know I keep asking the questions and I was just driven to get rid of the alarm clock on such a big scale. I just hated the sound of that in the morning. I mean, that is just, even if you put a good R and B song on your phone, like it's like even that in the morning. So offensive. You can just wake up when you want to. (laughs) Yeah, that is honestly, that's like, you don't need, then you don't look forward to holidays so much because every day is starts off like, you know, a bit like a holiday and then you're doing meaningful work and you love that. So you're not trying to get away from that either. It, um, it does feel so much better. And and the gratitude for that every day is, is, Mm -hmm. is a wonderful, it's easy to feel grateful once you get to that place. Easy. Yes. Yes. It's harder to feel grateful when you're doing work that you don't love. It is harder, but yeah. Well, and I think that, you know, especially what I've been listening to with, with Abraham, she talks a lot about the ease and flow. Yeah. You know? I mean, there've been a lot of times in my life where I've been caught up and it just feels like this tight fisted, yeah. you know, in order to be successful, I must, uh, you yeah. know, yeah. Away top and it's just like no that's just a belief that I had and I can change that belief and um you know if I've if I've been successful in this career I can be successful in that career and um you know I think a big focus for me lately especially with the work thing has been finding fulfillment um you know it's it's sort of fun to help somebody find a house um Mm. but if I can be doing that on a day-to-day basis and, you know, helping somebody, I don't know, discover a new way to think and be and change their own reality. Yeah. Um, that's always what I enjoyed about my previous career in insurance. It was never about selling insurance. It was always about how do I help change someone's life? Mm. Um, so I'm, I'm putting myself back on that path of, you know, wanting to help other people, um, more on a day-to-day basis instead of just, you know, it, it might take a month or two months or six months or a year for the, the A to B to happen in real estate. Um, I want to be doing that yeah. daily. Um, yeah. So, yeah. That's good. Well, it sounds like, I mean, you and I, we did an interview together already. You've already got a certain level of meaningful work for the moment. Mm-hmm. And, and it's a good, yes, you've got other avenues you want to create, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you're on your way with that area of your life. It's already hatched to a certain degree. And I think, you know, I remember in my last job, I really loved it. It was really creative and it paid me well, but I forgot to actually get rid of the belief you have to work hard for money. That was the one that I still was dragging around. And it's like every job got, got better as you work yes. on yourself, you attract better. And, uh, yeah, thank God for that. Thank yes. God for that. Yeah. That's, that's a big belief that I've been working on letting go of is yeah. you know, work hard, work hard, work hard. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm kind of tired of working hard. Yeah. I'm, I'm in my mid thirties. I'm, I'm ready to be, uh, you know, having more of a balance in my life. And I, that's totally possible to create in the world in which we live now. So. Definitely. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Work is easy and fun. Yes. <laughs> that's a good affirmation. Thank you, Lauren. Absolutely. Excellent. Thank you. And if anybody wants to, while I'm discussing something with someone, they want to add something, it's not like you have to stay totally silent. If you've got something that's relevant, you know, pop in. Let's go to Monique. Monique, Monique. <clears throat> Hello, Hello my- and everybody. Can y'all hear me? Certainly can. Okay. Uh, well, uh, my routine hasn't been changing. I mean, it's still like the same thing. I mean, it's kind of changed a little, especially for my self-love, meditation, you know, routine. Like every morning, um, I listen to your first best meditation um, every morning. Um, the first best, the priority, important um, meditation. Mm-hmm. And um, 
well, really, before I do the that meditation, I also I read my Bible <laughs> yeah. every day before I do the meditation. And I'm slowly um, gaining back to uh, my original, I mean, my daily routine meditation because I'm uh, recovering from the flu that I had yeah. uh, last week. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but uh, I'm getting better. So, um, it's still going to take a minute, but I'm getting there and everything. And um, if I don't do my self love meditation, I, you know, just go to the mirror and just say my self-love meditation, like I, I am blessed or um, I am worthy, you know, things like that. And um, I basically using um, the counter uh, clicker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but i am got the clicker app on my phone now until I get the, the actual uh, clicker. Yeah. Uh, right now. So <laughs> they got that app. Um, the counter oh. yeah, yeah. It's an app, or it's just yeah. on just on the. Oh, it's an app, a counter. Yeah, app. It's an, oh. yeah, a counter app. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Uh -huh. I didn't know that yeah, if, if for those the people don't have, you know, the actual clicker. Yep. Um, they can put an app on there. They can find it either on Google Play or on yeah. Apple. What's so, it called? What's it called, Monique? So people um, can look it up. Let me look at my yeah. Because um, that'll help people that don't want to. It. It's just say clicker. It's um, that's, clicker, clicker yeah. app. Yeah, you you can look it up. It says clicker app. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow, oh, that's good yeah. to know. Yeah. <laughs> bit of information. So, yeah. Um, right now, um, uh, two hundred twenty-seven self of affirmations that I did so far. So. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I'm at right now. And uh, I do my affirmations while I'm out walking. Yep you know, doing my exercise and also um, I, whenever I get on the, the bike, the exercise bike also, I set myself love um, meditation while I'm on the bike and which is, you know, every time I say, you know, I am this, I am that, you know, it does feel good, you know, to say it, you know, it's, it's basically, it's just about the feeling that, that you are this, that you are that. I mean, yeah. um, if you like don't, feel it like in your heart along with your mind and body and soul mm. it, it's, it's not gonna work yeah yeah so uh and what else oh i write down my gratitude list um 10 things that i am grateful for i basically just start like i am so happy and grateful now that i have you know this you know, that's where I start, you know, writing on my journal uh, almost every day. Yep. And uh, what else did I do? Uh, whatever. Um, it, I mean, we all have our bad days. Lord knows how to. Uh, whatever I have my bad days, um, I just, I'm not, you know, trying to get rid of my negative thought. You know, I just accept it you know, what it is and, and just start, you know, replace it, you know, the positive thought, you know, instead of just thinking, um, it's instead, um, let's just say that I'm not happy, uh, where the job that I'm at. I mean, I'm just saying as an example, yeah. I'll, instead I'll just say, you know, I love my job. I mean, I love that I do. And, um, you know, my colleagues, you know, get along with me very well, you know, things like that. Yeah. You know, I'm just saying that's an example. Yeah. I'm just, I, I love to do, um, you know, the mental diet from Neville Goddard. Yep. Yeah. 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 I listened to him, uh, you know, a couple of times, uh, his mental diet. Yeah. Um, on YouTube, uh, a couple of times. And it's, you know, it's just a, basically this everyday routine you know that I'm you know maintaining and it's yeah. been yeah. you know going good uh it actually is going great good stuff 
yeah. <laughs> and Monique, what are you, are you working on something in particular? Like, have you got some, like, have you got a few things in the irons? Well, the um, I have a few things that I'm working on as far as, you know, manifesting things like yeah. uh, going back to school um, yeah. that I'm working on. Yeah. Um, and which I, I already know in my heart that, that I'm already back in school. So I'm not yeah. like, you know, the, you know, attaching about that. Cause it's, it's the same school that I, well, well, I was graduating before. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not worrying about that. And also, also working on, uh, looking for a new job. Um, uh, that's basically one of two main things that I'm working on. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, all I can say is, uh, it's, it's there. I may not see it yet, but yeah, I know that it's, it's, it's coming. I just, you know, I just got to be patient, you know, and wait till the divine moment uh, that do you it is do coming. Some, do you do something specific for that? Like, is there... What, the meditation uh, as far as um, I... No. No, like for the like for the job and to go to school. Like, have you got any? Do you script? Do you live? Oh, in uh, yeah. Um, I basically, you know, just do the uh, living. You know, living in the end. Um, okay. Mostly like seeing myself, you know, on the computer. Yeah. You know, in school, like in the class, you know, and things like that. And yeah, all yeah. the same thing for as me um, at at my job environment like like I love my job and I say also the informations along with you know living in the end like I belong here and yeah you know my my boss is really nice and as far as the basic for the interview yeah uh, process that like they love my answers yes um, nice ask me you know things like that so yeah yeah um along with your uh, I also do your dream job meditation um, along with that. And yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's good when you've got a job and you're looking for another job. I think that's easier right. than yeah. having no job and you're waiting for, you know, the yeah. job to come. You're, you're under a lot less pressure when you're already working. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Because uh, um, that's basically, I really don't want to do is be pressured, you know, yeah. <laughs> Just looking for a job and everything. But it's like, it's one of my old beliefs. It's, it still comes every now and then that old belief, like, oh, I got to look for a job. I got to look for a job. But now, like, okay, let me calm myself down. And I'm like, I know it's, it's, it's coming. And like, it, it's basically, you just got to be patient. You just have to wait, just really just wait your turn. It's not, it's not going to come like, just like that after you apply for a job and then they like just call you. And everything. It may work for some people, and then other people are like that. If I still gotta wait, then hey, I just wait. And you know, just knowing that that job belongs to you. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You're in a good space about it. That's usually when you're like in that open-handed, relaxed state. That's usually when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> when you're not yeah. like ah. <laughs> yeah, but it it comes to me every once in a while. Like oh, but yeah. you're like no. I'm like no. I'm I'm, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like beautiful. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Thank mm. you, Monique. Thank you for telling us your story. Uh, you're very welcome. <laughs> Monta. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So I'm actually a little bit confused here. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm in a weird place right now. Okay. I don't know if you read my message to you or something, but there's a thing that um, it feels like I have forgotten everything what I've learned okay. <laughs> about self-love. But it's actually, it's, it's okay, but I'm getting there, but there are so much that I have to learn again. <laughs> yeah. So right now my routine is to watch all of your videos all over again from the beginning because I have to remind myself what self-love really is, what it means. And I'm struggling with letting go actually. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, um, few days ago there was a situation where my specific person texted me 
and I got too excited and I lost it. Like we didn't meet each other and stuff. And then I realized that I have to learn how to let go, how to concentrate on myself and how to do, do things for myself. Hmm. Cause actually, yeah, I got my ex back and everything. And now I have to do it twice because I was so sure that I learned everything that I know, everything about self love and, yeah, I kind of lost it, but yeah. I'm pretty sure that I can do it twice <laughs> as mm. well. So, but what I do daily, it's like um, I can't do much because I'm in college and I'm working. Yeah, so it's a bit hard for me. But um, at the evenings, I'm doing gratitude journal. Yeah, I'm always saying thanks for five things that I'm grateful for. I'm even saying thanks for things that I don't have yet. Yeah. Like, for example, what, what haven't even happened yet. That makes me kind of happy. And I've tried scripting. I yeah. have scripted my life with my specific person right now, and I'm reading it daily or when I remember to do it. And that makes me happy too. Yeah. And what I do is uh, I visualize being with him and situations like that because that just makes me feel good. That That just feels right to yeah. do it yeah and that's basically it because mm. right now i'm not trying to do too much mm. because i really have to let go i think right now yeah i have to stop and think about what i have to do next and yeah and i think um one important tip for others would be like you have to do things for yourself you have to find something for yourself for example i found a dancing class for myself I've been there like two months now and it makes me feel more confident about myself and just something for me. Yep. So I recommend that really do something for you, just for you and not just with me. others, just you. Mm -hmm. Yes. I agree. That's one thing. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Monta, I have to say to you, you know, the, when I first learned about the law of attraction and I got really good and then I attracted, you know, somebody and then I was thinking, yay, you know, I've done it and <laughs> woohoo, and you're so happy. And then you slide back to your old ways and then yes. <laughs> bang, you got to learn that lesson again. I did that four times. Yeah, so that's I, what happened to me. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, don't worry if it's happened. You just go, you know what? I, I know at least now I know what I did wrong the second time. I know what I got to do again. This area of learning is it, it's it, you're you can't say to yourself, I'll never do that again, because it's like an addict with a drug. We, we often slide back to our old ways if we don't keep a good routine going because it's like it's in us. We can correct it, but you're only as good as today. Yeah, and I, right. I'm, I'm really glad you brought this up because it happens. <clears throat> I'm working with a lot of people. Some of them I've interviewed, a lot of them I've interviewed and they've got their specific person. They've lost them again. It's we're human and we have to accept that even though we get good at things, sometimes we forget and, and we lose our, our confidence again. And, and then you've got to learn to do it all again. And, but you know what to do this time. You go, okay. I yeah, did that's right. So it's easier. It doesn't take the pain away, but it definitely is easier. So I'm really glad you brought this up because it happens to the best of us. It does happen. And, you know, once it's happened to you twice, you go, okay, I'm really going to work on this and I'm going to really remember that self-love is more important than anything. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to remember that, oh no, I've put them first again. I've got to go back to doing things for me. Like you said, the dancing, finding things that are good for me. But yeah, we're human, you know, and we do, sometimes it's like you got to forgive yourself and not judge yourself because sometimes it's so easy to say, you know all this, how did you end up here? You know, when you start getting annoyed at yourself, but it's, it's you know, it is what it is and you go, okay, I'm, I'm going to just do my best the second time and do my best for me. It was three or four times, you know, I was tw in my 20s when I did it the first time. I was singing, woo, I never have to do this again. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, no, you do. You got to do it again and again and again because you didn't learn your lesson the first time. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. It's just, you know, it's, it's, a, um, it's a humbling moment when you get slapped again with the same lesson, but, you know it's, we do our best and, and we got to, that's a part of self-love is saying, okay, you didn't, you screwed it up. Now you got to 
focus your way out of it again focus your way out again and it's possible it's possible <clears throat> and uh yeah so i'm glad you shared that it's <laughs> really important i think it's really important so do you want to it's, say um, you want to say anything else yeah i would like to say that it's not like i've lost it all i just i just realized that i have to do more for myself and yeah because it's not like i've lost my specific person actually i okay. feel like he is coming back to me yeah i have signs that universe is sending me and i know that he's going to be back like no time but it's just things that i have to concentrate on myself and i have to do so much for myself right now that i don't have to even i don't even have a time to think about him yeah. right now because i yeah. have to do my job first and then it will happen yeah. so yeah it's just it's just confusing at this time so yeah. that's why <laughs> yeah but i think being busy is a good thing isn't it distraction yeah that's the best thing yeah, yeah. you have to distract yourself cuz yeah. i found myself really canceling my plans for him doing everything just to make him happy yeah and i was like that's not self love that's just pleasing him chasing him but yeah. i've always thinking like what how would i feel if he would chase me and if it would be different so yeah. i'm concentrating on that right now yeah. i want to i want yeah. to give that and share that yeah good stuff good stuff a hey, good uh it's just part of the journey isn't it part of the journey it is yeah and i think for women because yeah, we're all here you know and and we all seem to le- need to learn the lesson of overgiving and doing too much it seems to be a repetitive habitual lesson that women seem to need to learn oh i've given too much again oh i've given too much again oh yes. I, forgot, I forgot about me i forgot about me it's like something happens in our brain and we forget i think i do think men do that better than we do in this instance i do <laughs> yes. think they do it more naturally they they just seem to be able to hold their own ability to focus on their own lives better than we do that's something we can learn from them a reminder from them to us yes exactly yeah very nice very nice thank you monta you're welcome thank you d hi anias hello hi ladies um wow uh, let's see my um my I don't like to use the word routine because it feels like something that I'm doing that I don't really want to do. <laughs> yes. So I was my uh my process is um so every everyone has their day. Um and as you're my Monday person, um so I feel like I need my self-love uh meditation affirmations to start my work week because i have a busy work life so i you start my my work week okay <laughs> and then, yeah and then uh like the next day i might listen to abraham who if you know me you know i'm a big fan of abraham i just yeah. love her processes i love her work um mm. and uh truly inspiring stuff and I recently started getting into um Tom uh I think his name is Tom Bilio. He um his his YouTube channel is um Impact Theory. And he interviews some of the most incredible people that I've ever come across like I'm sure you know Dr. Joe Dispenza. Yeah. Um just the way their mind works blows me away completely. and he has in um interviewed so many people that started from nothing like absolutely zilch zero nothing and who they are today are just it blows my mind and it's all all they talk about is the power of the mind and how they overcome certain things and what they feed themselves mm. on a daily basis so when i'm at work that is constantly my earphones are in and that's constantly going because i don't know where he finds these people some i've never heard of before but their story is incredible there's a guy um moran surf i think his name is moran surf this guy has robbed a bank so many times um 
by using his mind and how like it's, it's his story is incredible so i love listening to that because it's all about the mind and how powerful it is and it's not about your social status it's not about your you know your the the, the color of your skin or whether you're male or female or whatever you were born in it's all about the mindset and how to use it so i find that really incredible to listen to uh when I'm at the gym, I like listen to Motiversity because their speeches I find are incredibly motivated. Um, I would be in the gym just doing way too much, like I'm a linebacker or something. Like it just really psychs you up and powers you up. And I think the one thing I've always stick to is every morning, every single morning, I would get up and write five things that I'm grateful for. And I don't care if it's something that has already happened or has not yet materialized in the physical world but I would always be grateful for it a simple thing is like a roof over your head or having clothes to wear or you know just food on the table or having a job and I want to say too I'm sorry her name is not showing on the screen but Monta Monta yeah so this morning actually I spoke to someone because they were going through a rough time with their SV situation. And I think um, you touched on it a little bit. One of the things to remember, I feel, because I've been on this journey for the past three years, and Abraham says, it, like, you never get it done. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's literally like, as long as you have breath in your body, it's constant. So my self-love, I feel like, you might feel like you tip off the scale or whatever the case may be, but mm. you never get it done. It's constant. It's like me getting up and going to the gym. Um, your mental diet is not just food, but what are you thinking? What are you saying? And I think one of the things that's really helped me, uh, I've become really good at my self-talk. And one thing that I incorporated and I, I think I got this idea from reading Louise Hay, You Can Heal Your Life, was standing in front of the mirror and doing mirror work. Mm. And for me, what I did for a complete year, I picked one day and I literally stood in front of my mirror completely naked and all the parts of my body physically, mentally that I didn't like, I would offer love to that area mm. of my body or whatever personality traits that I didn't like. And the parts that I did love, I would just embrace that and be like, oh my God, I, like, I'm self-conscious because I have braces. So I never really smile a lot, but people will always say, oh my God, you should smile more. You're so beautiful when you smile. So that then emulate more out of me. So I think just like me standing there looking into my eyes and saying, you know what, Dee, I really love you. I really love your skin tone. I really love how funny and quirky you are at times or your intelligence. Or if there was a part of me, like I said, that I didn't quite appreciate, I would show love to that, to that part of me. And it took me an entire year to actually stand in front of that mirror and realize I love every single part of me. And it took work. It wasn't mm -hmm. overnight. There were days I didn't want to do it. There were days when I did it and tears were rolling down my eyes because mm -hmm. I so wanted to be who I know I could be. I so wanted to be who I know I am. And so for me, that was so important more than anything else that I just said, I'm going to do it. I don't care how long it takes. I didn't care about anything else but making this a priority. And I is no, like, there's times when I fall off the wagon and got back on and been in situations that, you know, was crazy. But I think if you are easy on yourself and say, all is well, it is what it is. Tomorrow is going to be a better day. And I like to tell people, nobody died. Like, I, I just always go to that. Like, nobody died. It's all good. Um, and life is just keep getting better and better. Um, and the other thing I think I'd like to share is that as for the job, as Monique talked about, for me, when I started, when I was scripting for my job, I was in a job I did not like. I was miserable. 
I was dreading going to work. I was yeah. like, I can't do this. Like, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> mm. I didn't want to be there. And then I got to a place where um, I said, okay, this is when I wanted my new job to start. And I think I scripted about it just once. And I just talked about it feels good walking into work mm-hmm. and feeling appreciated by my coworkers, by my supervisors, by everyone. We things are so great that we even like went out to see a movie with my, my coworkers and have drinks. I never had that before. And I remember just reading this script like one time, but every morning I would get up and feel the feeling of, wow, I'm in this job and this is amazing and the benefits are good and mm-hmm. I'm having a good time and my coworkers are cool and everything else like that. And I came home one day and I was laying in bed and a thought came to me. And every time I get those intuition, I always say, this is my higher self speaking to me. And the thought was, okay, you want to start in May, but when do you want to start? And I thought, okay, that's a good question. So then I went back and I wrote, okay, I'm so happy and I'm grateful and I'm excited. I'm starting my new job on May 7th. And then a week went by and then I got the offer letter. And sure enough, on the offer letter, my start date was May 7th. And I was so floored, like, wow, this is the actual date that I picked out. And it is everything that I deemed it to be. And Going even further into that, I went to, we had a Friendsgiving uh, for Thanksgiving. It was like 16 of us, amazing group of people, a lot of food, a lot of love, a lot of drinks, good times. And prior to that, I was saying to myself, okay, I manifested this, but I feel I can go even higher. Like there are certain things I want to work on and that I want to do, but I don't want to limit myself to one thing. I think I can have, do, and be this, that, and this. By watching all these guys and women on Impact Theory, these people have more, like so many things going for them all at the same time. And I think a lot of times we kind of think we can only do this, you know, but, you know, I feel like you shouldn't limit yourself. There's so much that you can do. So with that in mind, I was like, you know what? I want to take this one step further. Like, I want to earn a certain amount mm. in 2019. Like, this is where I want to be. And so I'm at the party and I'm talking to my friend, and he gives me this big beer hug and he's crying because he's shown like so much appreciation and love for me. And I just really felt that. And then we started talking about just other things. And he's like, well, you know, what are you doing right now? And so forth and so forth. And I'm sharing with him. And he's like, oh, you know, I think I have an opportunity for you that, you know, I think you'll be great at. And we just started talking. And the figure that he, that we were talking about, I was like blown away because it's the margin that, that where I'm thinking. And I didn't go look for it. So sometimes if you just set that intention mm. and you're in the right space, the right time, call it divine time, and your vibration and is in the right place, the universe will move people in circumstances to bring that about. So now that's a situation I'm totally exploring. Again, just, I think it was on Wednesday, um, Indeed popped up and shoot me like two uh, job opportunities that they think I would be right for. And again, the figure is like up here. That has never happened before. I'm always like sending out my resume. I've never had an opportunity to say, hey, you seem like a great fit to this. Why don't you go ahead and pursue this? So I think a lot of times when you just set that intention and get into the feeling of it, like, wow, this is amazing. This is happening. It's done. Um, And just be easy about it and allow the universe and just whatever you believe in, God, source, energy, to allow those circumstances to come in. As Abraham would say, fill in the grid and not have to physically say you know what i have to make this happen and i think that's where i was for such a long time that now i'm kind of flowing into this ease of allowing things to be yeah and you know what d i think it's that thing when you first start learning about law of attraction neville esther all this stuff it's 
you so hear it through the ears of what have I got to do in terms of law of attraction processes. Whereas after a while, especially with Esther and with Neville, those two in particular, you hear the other part, which is the art of allowing, which is imagination creates reality and it's all internal work and it's all relaxing and it's all letting go and it's leaning back away from things rather than I'm an action figure and I've got to do, 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 do. So I think that stuff comes later. It's like once you settle down and things start to, the drama subsides and you start to see a bit more calm on the outside and you're not so obsessed with, you know, people waving their arms at you and yelling at you and that's a drama and this is created and all this stuff. The distraction of all that calms down. Then you can hit that next level of surrender, letting go and allowing and doing more of that. I'll do more of this and less of that. Yeah. Like everything for me at this point is 90% mind, like 90%. And to be honest, when I first started listening to Abraham, I was like, so crazy. Like, of course I have to do this. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was like, no, I can't just sit here. And, but then like having listened and listened and, and I literally tested it for myself. And I remember just saying, you know what? Okay. All right hands off. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do the mental work. And that was the area where I felt like I got the most out of that situation, doing the least amount of physical work. So like, I know it works and like going back to Neville, imagination creates reality. And I tell people, if you go back to, and I have um, maybe like three people right now that I converse with a lot. I don't, I'm not quite sure I want to use the word coach just yet. Um, Mm. Learning some mechanics behind that. Yeah. Um, You know, they say, well, I don't know how to use my, I don't know how to imagine. And I'm like, no, that's not accurate. Because you were a kid at one point in life. Yeah. Kid at a crazy, wild imagination. Like you had a friend that nobody could see, nobody could hear, but you could not tell, like, (laughs) what tell you? That friend was not real. You know, if you're make believe, you're like you're praying, you're playing um, mom and dad household or whatever, everything was real for you. So get back to that place of playful imagination, really get into the feeling of it. And that's the key word too. I think you just have to be playful about it. Mm-hmm. And I'm really big on not, like I want to say, I'm, and I guess I resonate with the secret because to me, I feel like when you really keep things between you and you, mm. it adds so much more power than you talking to Tom, Dick, Harry, and everyone is dreaming. Right. So I'm really big on not disclosing certain things because I'm holding that energy for myself. And yeah. I don't want anyone messing with my energy, so to speak. But I'm yeah. like, you can't imagine. Like, think something just crazy right now and you would just burst out laughing no one knows what you're laughing about but it's mm. a crazy fascinated idea yeah. that if you don't kill it with doubt or any negative self-thought in a month six months a year you could absolutely be living that crazy mm. idea so i think like it's just really helpful to be playful about things and just be easy about it you know yeah yeah just it is done yeah 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 Yeah. it it really is that withdrawing more and more and more from doing doing and and doing more and more internal i I find that's been the most fascinating part of this for Mm me yeah is is working on you know whatever it is internally like you say you hold it to yourself you keep it to yourself you incubate it you you know you create more scenes you enjoy it you live in your own little world and then bang one day there's the day and then you're a day past it and it's the past now your manifestation is one day old it's a week old it's a month old and and you go wow i broke that barrier and and there are often barriers in the areas of relationships money work health yeah. and and you know buying a house or you know whatever it is that but everybody's sort of got the same areas that they want to manifest something in right. Um, but when you break one of your big barriers and it just, it just smashes all your old beliefs and you go, yeah. there's the, people always say, how do I know if a belief's gone? The, 
the result. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's one of the affirmations that I, I use in the past. And I also follow Justin, you are creators, because I started following him when he had absolutely nothing. And now he's in the field of millionaires. So I see where he, where he started from and where he is now. So one of yeah. the that I've used over and over again was, wow, I paid all my bills and I have so much money left over. I can't believe this. Yeah. Word of God, like a month ago or six weeks, like I'm going through my profile. I'm, I'm a Virgo. I'm really anal about certain things. I'm organized. <laughs> you know, I'm going through my profile and I'm like, wait, what bills did I pay? And I literally said, wow, I paid all my bills and I have so much money left over. Uh, and I got goosebumps because I was like, oh shit, this is, this is, this is the moment. Is is yeah. It. And that instant goosebumps. And I thought that is crazy. Yeah. So now if you look at my list of affirmation, it is so wild, but <laughs> I don't share it with anyone. I don't yeah. care. It, it is so wild. People would be like, yeah, you smoking something, but <laughs> I, I don't care. Like, I just, I just love it. I love the feeling of it, the playfulness of it. And yeah. I'm really just having fun with everything. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. It's, um, it's so, it, when you break your own ceiling, it's not comparing yourself to anyone else. You break your own you know, ceiling and, and you see beliefs finally after decades finally shared because you got the evidence that it has, like you're saying, that affirmation created a result and you go, wow, I have got more money, everything's paid, that's broken a barrier for me. It's yeah. such a wonderful moment. It is, you just feel so good about yourself that you did it. I did it, you know, yeah. that and moment. Confidence because now you're yeah. like, wait, I'm really, because you really think you're playing up here, but you're really here. So yeah. now you're like, oh, I'm definitely going to take this one step higher, one level further. And now yeah. you're so pump confident. It's like, you yeah. put on your, you're ready to go. It's, it's an amazing, amazing feeling. And I just, for anyone that's viewing this, it just, it doesn't happen overnight. It's, you know, like anything, if you want to be the greatest basketball player, the greatest football player, whatever it is, the greatest opera singer, it's just mm. consistent practice yeah. every day on the days that you don't feel like it, just constantly going. And even it's okay to even step back and take a break because mm. there are times when you just need to be like, okay, yeah. I just need a break from all yeah. this. Yeah. But just come back, keep working, keep just it's because when you get that first break i'm telling you it's an unbelievable feeling and Isn't you just it? feel like you, you just grow wings and you can fly it's yeah really a, yeah yeah for sure i think red bull red bull experience that one <laughs> <laughs> i just had a i had a visual of it <laughs> Oh, I just remember when I did used to drink those things before it gave me heart palpitations. I just think, That's such a good line. It gives me wings. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Dee. No, so good. Good to hear the next little bit of what's going on there. Because, um, I mean, yeah. I do talk to a lot of you at different times, but just, you know, because there's times in between and I don't hear the next bit. So it's good to have a little catch up on where people are at. It's good. Lovely. Thank you, Dee. Thank you. Mademoiselle Moon. So I think I'm the one with the echo here. Yeah? No, it's gone now. It's gone now? Yep. All right. Well, I've got one of my classmates here, Johnny, and this has been a crash course introduction Hello. to Law of Attraction. <laughs> Hello, Johnny. <laughs> all these questions like, what's scripting? <laughs> Who's Neville? I thought, I thought you were talking to the blue guy on the back of the couch there when you kept, uh, I thought you were talking to someone. I thought, okay, she's starting to talk to the stuff now. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what living alone does to you. <laughs> so... Uh, Johnny, you can stay. You don't have to go. It's fine. It's very casual. Yeah. <laughs> so go, go ahead, ahead. Caitlin. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
No, she actually lived in LA for five years before um, deciding I'm going to go do a master's in Dublin. Beautiful. Yeah. Good manifesting, Johnny. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lovely. So, um, do you want me to talk about like my daily routine? What, what do you want me to say? You just go wherever you want to go. Start with, <laughs> start with that if you want. <laughs> um, okay. I, I, I don't really know where to start with this, but um, I have tried to start a daily routine. I try to think of law of attraction as a tool that helps you live your life. It should not be something that is your life. It's like I've made this analogy in the Facebook group that I try to run. Um, well, practicing law of attraction is like being a vegetarian. You control what you think, just like you can control what you eat. So okay. yeah. I, I really limit who I listen to, I really limit the amount of time and also the meditations that I do. I tend to start off, um, I believe it was Monique who also uses meditation, the I am first best, I am a priority. I love that meditation. Um, I also like the Eric Ho 15 minute mm. love affirmation ones. Yeah. And I will sometimes in the morning also listen to an able picks rampage just like this is a good day there might be contrast but that's just making this day even better and then I will go about my day and as I go about my day I try to as he said be childlike in my appreciation of the world around me um I will I recently found myself thinking like oh I love the wind I love this street I love that I live in Dublin I love my school I love, I she love did. my student she did. friends. We were <laughs> talking to me about the wind. She's like, isn't the wind amazing? Yes. Like, and I was like, it's like a cake. Yeah. I was like, yeah. actually, pretty well, dope. My dad and I used to play <laughs> together, actually. And the wind, there's actually, it goes in different directions and at different speeds. Yep. Over one another. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Look at the birds. They're having fun. And she's like, you are weird. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm weird too, though, so I can say that, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's like real, recognize real. It's like weird, recognize weird. Like, but it's like, it's real, though. <laughs> Two organic nuts. Yeah. That's putting it lightly. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but in terms of, like, just law of attraction, YouTube, research, and getting into it, I, again... I try not to get so delved into it. I mean, I'm a professional student. I'm an academic by, I don't know, choice. And so I try to be very specific about who I'm listening to, what I'm listening to, what I'm allotting my free time to. Mm. Because I don't want to get sucked down a wormhole as you are. So I will focus on Neville. I love Abraham Hicks. I will occasionally tune into a Veronica Isle, mainly if I think it's going to help somebody else or if it's, I don't know, pertinent to me. Um, I love Dan Radio Style and, of course, yourself. But that's really mm. at the moment because I just, I mm. try to keep it pretty lean. Yeah. Um, I also have found, I don't really like specific person meditations. Um, like I say, I am my own specific person. Like there is somebody that I have my eye on. I'm like, ooh, I want you to be happy and a little bit naked. <laughs> hey, um, that make that would make a good t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I did steal that from a meme, but um, yeah, it's just. What's, Caitlin just saw you one. There is a T-shirt that says that. You should totally get it. Oh, oh yeah. there you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'm just really trying to focus on me, my self-love, who I am as a person. I mean, everybody is a work in progress. Everybody has their issues. And as long as you are making that effort to be better today than you were yesterday, to be at least working on 
taking responsibility for your happiness and not trying to thrust that on someone else, then you are doing the right thing. You're, you're on the right path. You're taking the step in the right direction. Mm. Yeah, definitely. It's that letting go of self judgment, I think is such a big thing on this journey because you so judge yourself so harshly. I'm not doing enough or I'm, I'm not whatever enough. And, and the law of attraction is no different. You do that with that. You do that to yourself around that subject too. Yeah. So can you, do you want to share a bit about, are you hatching anything? Well, I mean, there's always something to hatch at the moment. I'm just trying to focus on preparing to go home for the holidays. Um, just trying to prepave that as best I can. I've got my, I've got something big coming up in school in February. I'm trying to prepave that. And um, just trying to keep like anxiety level at bay. Like I know the holiday season's rough on everybody. Yeah. And um, it's no different. So I'm just trying to keep myself afloat and mm. keep myself in perspective of the world around me. Like trying not to be harsh in my judgments of other people I'm trying to see everyone in a loving light mm. like, their flaws everybody has their foibles but that's what makes them unique as a human being mm -hmm. always something that can be appreciated yeah regardless of your situation regardless of who you're interacting with <sighs> yeah. and I think that element of appreciation helps make things better yeah Definitely. That's, um, that's a good practice of glass half full rather than glass half empty. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Caitlin, you have got one of the most wonderful lifestyles of anyone I know and you've manifested it at, and you've manifested it at a really young age. Like, you know, you're free, you're traveling between the U S and Ireland. You're doing something you've always wanted to do in another country. Um, you know, you're living in a nice place. You're studying things you're really interested in. I mean, it's. I love that monster. Yes, you've got your. <laughs> he's a. I reckon he helps you manifest. He's he's part of the manifestation incubating tank. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just lovely to see what people have manifested, and I. You know, you, you have done it at such an early age and, and the fact that your dad bought you the secret, you know, when you were laying in a hospital bed, not really knowing if you were going to recover from a very serious head injury, it was like a real turning point in your life. And I will post every single one of you. I just realized I've interviewed you. So I'll put all the interviews down below for people to see you all individually. But yeah, that was a very inspiring story by you. And still is. It's still to be continued you're still living it in the middle of it so living the dream what can i say yeah yeah it's good it's good ah oh, lovely good to see you all is anybody want to add anything before we wrap it up you want to you want to okay. johnny go ahead johnny <laughs> that uh so i i've been in comedy for the last five years like i moved to la after college to do comedy and my masters will be in that too yeah um, but i have uh i have issues sometimes with like calling things quirks and like uh, especially in like in womanhood and stuff um yeah. i think they're quirks i think they're just things that like naturally occur and we shouldn't label them that way um they're just like these special features of who you are like and everybody has special features that make them who they am. He makes it sound like this like weird thing that we all do. And it's like, it's not weird. It's just who you are. And it's not weird. It's just mm. us unique to you. Idiosyncrasies. Yeah, for sure. Idio something. Yeah. yeah. Idio something. Yeah. And, yes. Kate, and Kate, 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 no, he's also been going on about how much you like D's hair. So. Oh my God. I know. Honestly, D, <laughs> it is just, a brilliant, and everybody's so great too. You're you're born with a with a just a brilliant feature. <laughs> brilliant, yeah, love it, love it. Some things are just just really. That's just one of those things that makes you who you are, and that's that one for you, Dee. That's uh, one of your signatures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crazy hair club. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, does anyone else want to say anything before we pop off? Lauren, um, I, I do. Lauren, go ahead. Sure. Um, 
the other ladies ended up talking about scripting and that's something that I have added recently. Um, actually I've only done it twice and I don't know why it took me so long to decide to do that. Um, but, um, I bought a special notebook for it when I was in high school. I used to be part of the, um, the news, I, I took a class, like we produced our newspaper every year and I would always use the steno notebooks. They have the spiral at the top. And I remember writing in those, you could just write so fast and so freely because your hand wasn't bumping up against uh. the spine or whatever. So I thought I'm gonna buy a special notebook just for that and it was a little cheapy, like 399 thing. Um, but I guess in my mind, I thought like, oh, it's going to be so much work to actually sit down and write. I'm so happy and grateful now that, you know, um, but it wasn't. It's like, well, I love to write anyway. Why have I never added this to the things that I do to help me be in that 17 second space? Yep. Um, and the, the first time I did it, I, I filled up the whole page. And the second time I did it, I filled up two full pages so I imagine it's just going to get easier and easier. It's kind of like doing a vision board, but without all the mess of having to cut up the magazines. And <laughs> I mean, that's fun too, but yeah. Um, yeah, being able to just write and let it flow. And, and like some of the others mentioned, it's that it's expressing gratitude, but at the same time for the things that haven't yet shown up in the physical world. So all of my entries in there start with, I'm so happy and grateful now that, and then I finish it with something that I'm ready to see in the physical world. Love um, so that's been awesome. And the other one that I, I forgot, I almost, almost every night I fall asleep to the, um, it's yours on yes. It's meditation, self love first best and whispering technique. And you're wearing the um, blue Argyle sweater. I love that one because in it, you're talking about like imagine yourself in, in bed and you're under your blankets cuddled up and just imagine that feeling of lovableness. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's a real word, but I love no. it and it should be a real word. <laughs> so I just had to add that. It, and I love that combination, you know, of, of the, that, 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 the three together, self-love, first best, and then whispering technique. Mm. Usually I'm whispering to my specific person, but honestly I can whisper to any person. So it's yep. kind of one of those interchangeable, really good, yeah. like this will work for every, every day. Yeah. Uh, and so I love that one. Thank you. Ah, that's good. That's good. I think yeah. there's been so many meditations done. I forget what's even there anymore, but it's good to hear people still use the old ones. And that might be an old one. I'm not sure. Yeah. Is it got, does it have music? No, it's just you and you're in that sweater and you have yeah. long straight hair and it has 118,000 views. Okay. It's from that's a year old, ago. That's an older one. Yeah. Yeah. I love that one. <laughs> oh, good. Good. I'm glad I go to bed with you, Lauren. Yes, me too. <laughs> Like you're kind of like a, um, like a lullaby, you know, oh. <laughs> I think when we were all little, my parents used to sing to me or they would wind up the music boxes or they would tell a story or read, or I, as I got yeah. older, I would read to myself and it, it is, it's important what you put in your brain before you're going into that subconscious yeah. state. Yeah. Um, it's such a lovely part of the day too. Yeah. Just lovely. Just, yeah. you can just, yeah, take something in. I think Some days I just fall asleep on the couch and then I wake up an hour later and drag myself upstairs to bed. But yeah, if I'm being purposeful about it, yeah. or even if I'm getting ready for bed, I'll just, I'll turn it on and get my brain back in that like yeah. calm, I love myself, let's have a good night, brain, you and yeah. me. Yeah, lovely, so, lovely, yeah. lovely. It's good to bookend the day with things, something at the beginning, yeah. something at the end. Yeah. Yep. Wonderful. 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 Well, thank you very much, ladies. I think um, lots of good bits and pieces, nuts and bolts. So does everybody want to just say goodbye and then hang on to stay on and then we'll say goodbye in private.
Adios. <laughs> you can unmute yourselves, of course. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Be blessed. <laughs> lovely. Hope you enjoyed the viewers sharing their lovely stories, bits and pieces and tips, and I'll see you in the next YouTube.